Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Vicious battle between the left and the right unfolding in Wisconsin, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. First is set up in March last year. Governor Scott Walker signed a law eliminating most collective bargaining for Wisconsin state employees. You may remember the left went wild, protesting vehemently against the new law. There was even vandalism at the state house. Liberals very angry because if Republican governors can show they'll get budgets under control by limiting compensation to state workers, then that will happen all over the country. So in order to punish Governor Walker, the Democratic Party issued a recall, and it was successful. They got enough signatures to put it to a vote, and the final judgment will be made tomorrow. The stakes are very high here for President Obama, who does not, does not want to constrain union bargaining power. Obviously, most American labor unions support Mr. Obama. But Governor Walker has a pretty good story to tell. When he took office in January 2011, Wisconsin unemployment stood at 7.7 percent. Now it's down to 6.7 percent according to the last reading in April. On the spending front, when Walker took office, there was a budget deficit of $3.6 billion in Wisconsin. Now the deficit is projected to be $143 million, an astounding drop. On the tax front, it's pretty much a wash. Walker's first budget increased overall taxes in Wisconsin, but some businesses received tax cuts. So all in all, Walker seems to be succeeding economically in Wisconsin. Thus, the vote comes down to ideology. The left doesn't like him, so they want to throw him out. The real clear politics consensus in the polls is that Walker will keep his job after tomorrow's vote. The average has 51 percent supporting Walker, 45 percent against him, favoring his Democratic opponent, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. Finally, if Governor Walker does keep his job, President Obama, American labor and the hardcore left will all be disappointed. It's not so much about Walker himself. It's about the message that will be sent. Big spending, big government versus tough measures when it comes to taxpayer dollars.